Well, we are now about to start planting up, and the first plant that's going to be popped in by this beautiful natural spring pool is Aureum palmatum atrosanguia. And these fantastic leaves and these lovely red purple hue stems. It just makes such a statement and I thought it would look great if we just popped it up above the pool like that. Now the reason I've chosen this plant is it's a marginal plant which means it loves to live on the margin of a pond or a pool. They're quite, quite delicate so I've got my palm of the hand there to support it, hold it upside down, give it a tap on the body and off comes the pot. And these have been really well watered. Now gently up again. And now into your new home, like so. Just turn that round. Here we have Japanese painted fern and it has all the colours that you see on the moors and up the glens and it absolutely loves and thrives a moist boggy ground and good partial shade and I have to say sitting in here I think it's going to get all those in abundance. So now, my lovely Japanese painted fern, you are going to go and visit your new home. So we'll put you in there. Right, I've now come further round our alpine rockery mountain and sitting on a good old rock, a bit of a backrest. I haven't got time to take a rest as we want to introduce this wonderful formium otherwise known as New Zealand flax, and this particular variety is known as a purpureum, and it gets its name from these wonderful colours. That's the planting scheme. There's a few heathers popped in there, a few striking bold plants up against this fantastic rock face. Well, I have to say, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, the natural spring pool is almost up to the top, but we've still got a lot to do. We've got to finish the deck, build a little retainer there, get about three or four tonnes of local pebbles in. So let's see if we can get that done before this lovely pool starts to cascade over the waterfall. Right. Right. <laughs> 